After you have installed Python, you can install Visual Studio Code because we're not going to program directly in Python. Visual Studio Code contains a lot of stuff which is beneficial for your productivity when you are programming in Python and any other language, almost. So you just click on the download for Windows. On your, in your case, it might say download for Mac. Just click this. And then we are going to have a setup file here. We just open it. Accept the agreement and click OK and Next. So now it's going to install. In addition to Visual Studio Code in itself, which is a very lightweight program, we need to install several additions. We can launch Visual Studio Code Dart directly from here, but I'm going to show you that you can just click here. You can either go to all apps and find it in your in your um, start menu, or you can search for it. So here we have the welcome pane. But what we can do is that before we start making new files or anything, we can go here to the extensions because there are some extensions which are beneficial for us when we start programming in Python. The first one is the Python itself. If you do not see it directly here, you can just uh, search Python here and it will be on the top. And this is the extension which has over 90 million downloads and you can just install that one. And this uh, will make um, our product productivity a lot better because you have the, uh, the IntelliSense, which will um, give you an idea of what you can write based on what you have written previously. So we just close this one and now we are ready to program.